At Scouts Canada, we have such an important mission, working with young people to help them develop into well-rounded individuals better prepared for success in the world. In order for us to make sure that all of our organization stakeholders are aligned and working together, we've come up with a set of five priorities that are all interconnected and make sure we can put all of our resources, all of our energy against what matters most, the youth program experience. So the first priority is membership growth. We need to make sure that we're bringing in more youth into the organization so that they could experience the good stuff that we have to offer. We focus on membership growth because I truly believe that every youth across this country deserves the opportunity to have a scouting experience. It's the reason we have a No One Left Behind program. It's the reason that we focus so strongly on getting youth involved because they become better citizens, better prepared for success in the world because of scouting. So why wouldn't we want to make sure that every youth out there gets the opportunity? As an organization, our biggest challenge is the mental barrier that scouting is full. Scouting is never full. We need to find ways so that we could bring in more youth to enjoy our program. You don't have enough volunteers? Just ask. And if you get turned down by one parent, ask another one, ask another one, ask another one until you get a yes because that one yes will allow you to take in more youth. Safety is so important to Scouts not only because of what we do and making sure that young people have a safe environment in which to participate but I also see it as being such a mission driven part because we know that more young Canadians die of preventable injury than anything else and combining that fact with our non-formal proven education system where youth can lead and learn by doing we can actually equip young Canadians to be prepared make good safe decisions both within their scouting programs but take that same philosophy that same approach to their day-to-day -day lives. That's what young people have a role to play in this organization when it comes to safety. We have the ability as young people to stand up and say this may be common sense, this may seem funny, but someone's going to get hurt because of this and I'm not okay with it. We've heard from so many scouters that they're looking to understand more about bullying, around harassment, about cyberbullying and online relationships. And we've partnered with the Respect Group to deliver this type of training because it provides the scouters with contemporary information, high quality information, and most importantly, it equips them with both the knowledge, the skill, and the conviction to act when they see those inappropriate behaviors or they see signs that a youth is uh, the subject of victimization outside of scouts. As a section scouter, to make our program more enjoyable to the youth, you really have to listen to them, find out what they want, and you also have to realize that they progress at different times, different levels. Don't impose on what you think is right. You can suggest things, but at the end of the day, it's really the youth who will decide what is fun for them and what will make them come back day in, day out. We've talked to our youth over many years and we ask them what is important to them about the program, what is it that they're looking for, and how can we do better to be relevant? What we hear time and time again is that we need to give them more space, give them more leadership opportunities, make sure that the program is varied, and make sure that we do it in a well-rounded way so that we're giving them development opportunities that span all of the aspects of the traditional scouting program. Volunteers really fit into the equation of youth-led. Youth-led programming is what we're all about, but they're not going to get there on their own. We need volunteers who are mentors and who can run a program that enables young people to find their own path and to create their journey and take some risks while there are volunteers standing by and making sure that they don't get hurt with the added element of challenge and letting them take those boundaries in a safe and controlled environment. The volunteers are the cornerstone of our organization. We need to make sure that they have the tools that they need to get the job done. At the same time, we need to provide the necessary support, be it additional training, additional coaching, additional mentoring. We couldn't do this without volunteers in this organization. They're really the cornerstone of what we do. Our 20,000 volunteers across the country are the reason this organization is what it is and they're the reason we're here. Councils at Scouts Canada have a really important role to play in ultimately providing local leadership, oversight and vision around our five priorities. They put together area teams that ultimately support our groups, our sections and their families. And those area teams, they need to be really focused on bringing 
knowledge, skill, passion right into our sections and working with scouters so that they understand what a quality program looks like and that they understand how that they can grow, they can flourish and support scouting in their community. Our fifth priority is group capacity. We have so many dedicated volunteers out there that they take on more roles and roles and roles and roles and they end up doing so much. Well, we don't want them to burn out. But having the proper group capacity, we're able to spread the work. So we would have at least three scouters in a group committee who are non-section scouters. By doing a little bit, we're able to move forward without having to take on too much work. If I had to leave scouters across Canada with one thought, it would be to stop and take a look at the youth that have gone through your program and the success that they've had. I personally would not be where I am without scouting. I would not be who I am. I would not have the friends that I have. I wouldn't be in the career that I'm going into if I didn't have scouting. So we have the opportunity to offer that experience and give passion and skills to young people across the country. Let's do that. Let's make sure we grow. Let's make sure we're offering a quality program so kids keep coming back. Let's be safe. Let's support our volunteers so that they can do all of this. And let's ensure that we have the scouters in place to make sure that our groups are running a quality program and focusing on growth.